so welcome back guys to a brand new Ark Survival Evolved news video here on the channel. Today I've actually got so much information to share with you guys, it's really exciting news and I cannot wait to show you what's happening on Ark Survival Evolved, which in my opinion, when this all happens, the game is just going to keep on upgrading more and more. Now as always, if you are excited for all of this news today, smash that like button. The like target today is 600, so if we could smash that, that would be brilliant. And I just wanted to say a huge thank you for over 150,000 subscribers. I watched a video yesterday when I was thanking you guys for 6,000 and it just it was just the biggest shock to think where we are right now. And I know it's been a big grind, but I still love it so much. I love what I do. And to think what's next is 200,000, I don't even want to talk about it. It's just unbelievable. So thank you guys so, so much. I hope you are enjoying Valgaro on console and the reason why I've brought Valgaro up is because it links in today's video which is on the Arc Mod Contest 2019 and why this is so important that you guys have your say on this. A year ago it was the Arc Mod Contest 2018 and as you'll see on the screen it is number 20, well it's not number 2019 but it's 2019 this year and Valgaro was entered into this and it ended up winning the competition. Now this time, um, well no, last year, it was mixtures of mods and maps, and obviously the map came out on top. So Wildcard thought that this year they were going to change up and do maps and mods separately, so that gave the other mods and stuff a chance uh, instead of fighting against the maps, because people are always going to want new maps. Now, um, Valgaro won, there was work put into it, and it was then released a year later onto the game. Well, it was a little bit before a year, I think it was about like nine months later or something like that. Right now, the Arc Mod Contest 2019 is in full swing and it is getting closer and closer until the end and the winner of the Mod Contest. Now, as you can see, the finals end in six days and three hours time. You still have a chance to vote for your favorite maps and mods that you would like to see the Mod Contest and hopefully see that come to the game next year. As you, well, not even next year, in the next few months, because there's so much being worked on by Wildcard, including paid content. First prize wins $10,000, second prize wins $5,000, and third prize wins $2,500. Now, the maps is simply, there's no going into the final and things like that, because there's not been that many uh, maps actually entered this year, because I think less people make maps than they do mods. So really, I think all of them have come through, if I'm if I'm correct, um, into the next stage, which so that these are all going in to be into the final so you can vote any of these maps that you want to come able to win the map tournament so you've got faith which is an unofficial island tlc which is an official tlc of the island i'm not too sure about that one i like it's an amazing map but like i wouldn't know what wildcard would do it or if they if they if they would make it official if they would actually tlc the island i don't really know it'd be interesting one that I really like the look of is Olympus, which um, again is definitely something I could see coming to the game because it's such an amazing looking map and I'll probably come back to that to show you guys at the end. So get your vote in because if you get your vote in, just type in Arc Mod Contest 2019, you can then log in, enter and vote and you can also be in with a chance to win an Arc Collector's Box on either PS4 or the Xbox One that has been signed by members of the development team and this is what you can get right here. So these are all the maps, I'll come back to Olympus in a second, you can go for as many as you want and see which looks the best and you'd like to maybe see come official one day. Now, the mods have their own um, uh, little part as well. So they, as you can see, it's now six, well, it's still six, hour, uh, six days and three hours. But as you can see, it's the same price for voting on this as well. But there were so many more mods added in to this little idea, well, well into this um, contest this year. And they have now made it to the final rounds of things that have made it here. So, paintable furniture, as you can see, this is one that has made it, looks fantastic, how you can paint all your objects, it looks brilliant. We've got the Arc Steampunk mod, which has been around for a while. Um, we've got the uh, roleplay sort of visual storage, which I've been a fan of for many, many years. We've got Castle Keeps and Forts, which again has been around again for a few years, which is where you can actually build Castle Keeps and Forts, really. 
Arc Arena, which I am a. This is my second favourite one. It's imagine having our own sort of Arc Arena. It kind of comes under maps as well, where you can actually go onto the arena, start battles without having to build your own ones, and you can have legitimate, proper battles in the arena using this mod. It's like an actual mod that comes together, and you can choose game modes and stuff. Arc the Final Stand, which I'll probably have to show you guys because I can't remember what this is myself. Human NPCs, my favourite one. I've tried it once on PC, I loved it. Imagine people, there's a lot of Arc players out there that play single player and they say that their world is quite empty and there's not a lot, you know, there's they're missing a lot. And now Human NPCs, if that became official, you could actually have like what it is, Human NPCs in your game, which you can tame to have them on your side or you can actually fight against them as they build their own little villages and little worlds and you'll come across them with this mod. We've also got something else which is the, I can never say the name correct of this, but it's where it adds new dinos and elemental types of stuff, which I think is pretty similar to these other ones. Uh, Gaia, I think that's what it is, or um, and then you've got Ark Parados. If I'm wrong about any of that, then I'm very sorry, but I all think it comes under the sort of same elemental side of things and adds loads of new types of dinosaurs to the world of Ark Survival Evolved. So again, you can log in and vote for your favourite. This will massively impact how arc works and if they want to move forward with some things like this get your say in it really does mean a lot so what i was going to check right now is i wanted to show you guys olympus to see what it's out about i think they've got quite a cool little page on it here as well um <coughs> i'm slowly getting better guys i'm a lot better as you could probably tell in my voice so this is Ark Olympus. Once home to the mighty gods, um, Olympus is a map filled with both lush and, and lush natural environments and mysterious relics of the past. There's a whole storyline to this. It's, they've been working on this for years. And what you'll be able to see as well is some of the screenshots of what Olympus is about. The current features, access to all dinos, uh, resources uh, um, and biomes from the base game and DLCs. All three bosses from the island with the Manticore on the way soon, as well as two map specific sub bosses, seven artifacts, um, artifact caves and several more smaller ones, both on land and in the seas to explore. And there is an official discord which you guys can join where you can have map support, suggestions and everything like that. An, expan an expansion, I was going to say, a world, I'd say huge world to explore. And this is the world of Olympus, which is fantastic. They've also got a thing showing their future goals, more caves, more large caves and more small caves, new resources and environment assets to go with Olympus biomes and more beautiful scenery to take in. Custom made bosses and arenas to replace those currently available. Um, you know, continued improvements to the you know aesthetic side of things and performance. Um, <coughs> more unique sub bosses to test your skill. Um, more official map, a resource map, which is interesting, and custom survival uh, survivor notes, which tells the story of Olympus. Again, some more stories and pictures to go with it. In my opinion, this was my favourite one and this is why I decided to, uh, you know, talk about this one more than any other one because it just is so fantastic. Again, another one which I've checked out for a while here as well. Um, again, there's just so many that really have that huge potential. Let me know in the comment section down below what would be your dream to come to the console and the PC as an official. What would you like to see next? Because Wildcard have, also, have said, and I've made videos on it, that they're going to be releasing free content, which is Valgero with a new dino, but their plan is to release new paid content. So that is probably what we're looking to come next. But all of this, they've still said more free content is coming our way as well. So make sure to get involved to see your favorite things come to the game if you're not someone that has a PC. Now, finally, what I wanted to check out is one of them from here, which is Arc Final Stand. Um, Arc Final Stand is an action-packed game mode inspired by the concept with deathmatch, gun game and survival of the fittest. Key features hardcore ground PvP, 
kill reward system, so leaderboard, scoreboard, so it sounds like something a little bit like a battle royale, not battle royale, you guys are probably going to hate me for saying that, because I know people hate battle royale now, but it says, as some of you may have heard by now, we are developing a battle royale for the Ark Survival Evolved community inspired by Survival of the Fittest, our developers are extremely extremely passionate well passionate i would have thought um to satisfy the needs of the arc pvp community and are working day and night to able to release our main project with the shortest time frame possible so i don't know if that's to do with the final stand or if they're doing that separately but if it is that would be absolutely fantastic but anyway guys that really is going to be the full video today as i said i hope you are enjoying a valguero that is the first part of the free content but this it all starts somewhere, guys, and that's exactly where Valguero started before. But the even more exciting thing is, as I said, now Wildcard have a new team. They're working a lot harder. This now, uh, separating them into maps and mods, is a good sign to see a lot more coming our way this year and next year for the game, building up to the new and improved next generation Ark Survival Evolve. But anyway, guys, as I said, thank you for watching. Let's smash that 600 like target. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. I mean, I know we've already hit 150, but it'd be fantastic to grow as much more as possible. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.